Hello, business analytics superstars, and welcome to chapter nine, estimation. Estimation is one of the core pillars of statistics. It's something that underpins so much of what we do in data analysis, decision making, and business research. Uh, the idea is simple but powerful. How do we use a sample of data to make a reliable guess about something in the broader population? Well, uh, whether you're estimating uh, the average income of a population, uh, the effectiveness of a marketing campaign, or perhaps the future demand for a product, uh, estimation allows us to bridge the gap between the known, our sample, and the unknown, the entire population. In this chapter, we explore the key concepts, techniques and methods used in estimation, uh, setting you up with the tools to confidently uh, interpret data and make informed decisions based on your findings. Uh, let's start by defining estimation. In statistics, estimation is the process of using data from a sample to infer something about a population parameter, like the uh, population mean nu, or mi in Greek, or the population proportion pi, or p in Greek. Because it's not feasible to collect data from every single member of a population, uh, we rely on sample statistics, such as the sample mean, sample proportion, to estimate these parameters. Think of estimation as your best educated guess. You don't know the exact number, but you're using the information at hand to make a reasonable prediction. But just how reliable is that prediction? Ah, that's where understanding different types of estimation methods and concepts like confidence intervals come into play. Estimation comes in uh, two main types, uh, point estimates and interval estimates. A point estimate is a single value that we use as our best guess for the population parameter. For example, uh, if the average age of a sample of customers is 35 years old, that's your point estimate for the average age of all customers in the population. It's uh, straightforward and easy to understand, but it comes with one big limitation. It doesn't tell you how confident uh, you should be in that guess. Whereas an interval estimate, uh, this gives you a, a range of values within which uh, you believe the true population parameter lies. Uh, this is where confidence intervals uh, come in. If you estimate that the average customer age is between 33 and 37 years old with 95% confidence, you're making a more informative statement. Uh, the interval gives you a, a margin of error, and the level of confidence tells you how not certain you are uh, that the range covers the true population parameter. So think of a, a point estimate as saying, I think it's around here, whereas an interval estimate is saying, I'm pretty sure uh, it's somewhere between uh, these points. And uh, trust me, uh, in business research, that extra level of certainty goes a very long way. Indeed, uh, a confidence interval is one of the most useful tools in estimation. Uh, the concept of confidence intervals you know, might sound fancy, but it's actually quite intuitive. A confidence interval uh, gives you, of course, that range within which the true uh, population parameter is likely to fall along with uh, a specified level of confidence. So what does confidence mean here? If you say you're 95% confident that the average income of your customers is between you know, $50,000 and $55,000, uh, you're saying that if you repeated the sampling process, let's say 100 times, approximately 95 of the confidence intervals subsequently produced would contain the true population mean. Uh, it's important to remember uh, that this doesn't mean uh, you're 95% sure the true mean is in that one specific interval. It's about the process being reliable over repeated samples. The uh, width of your confidence interval is influenced by several factors, such as sample size. The larger your sample, the more accurate your estimate and the narrower your confidence interval would be. Uh, variability in the data. Uh, more variability in the data leads to wider confidence intervals because the data is more spread out. Uh, the confidence level. The higher the confidence level, for example, 99% versus 95%, the wider the interval. 
think this makes sense. If you want to be more certain that your interval contains the true parameter, you're clearly going to need to give yourself uh, more leeway. Now, how do we come up with these estimates? Magic happens through estimators. Formulae, methods we use to calculate our point and, in turn, interval estimates. Uh, there are two key characteristics that good estimators should have. First, unbiasedness. An estimator is said to be unbiased if, on average, it gives the correct value for the population parameter. For example, uh, the sample mean, x bar, is an unbiased estimator of the population mean, mu. Second, efficiency. Uh, an efficient estimator will have the smallest possible variance among all estimators, ideally among all unbiased uh, estimators. Essentially, if you're making multiple estimates, you want them to be as uh, consistent as possible. Now, as we discussed in a previous chapter, sampling distributions are a vital part of understanding estimation. Recall that uh, a sampling distribution is the distribution of a sample statistic, like the sample mean, over many repeated samples from the population. Understanding uh, this distribution helps us to quantify the uncertainty in our estimates. For example, uh, the standard error of the sample mean tells us how much the sample mean is expected to vary from the true population mean. The uh, relationship between the sample statistic and the sampling distribution uh, is important for constructing uh, confidence intervals and making uh, statistical inferences about the population. Keep in mind that in business research, uh, estimation is everywhere. Uh, for example, uh, marketing departments, uh, they might estimate the average spend of their customers to decide how to price a new product. Uh, HR teams might estimate the average satisfaction of employees to understand workplace morale. Uh, finance analysts might estimate the future returns of an investment portfolio to inform risk management strategies. Without estimation, uh, we'd be flying blind, unable to make informed decisions based on the data we collect. So estimation is a critical component of statistical analysis, allowing us to make uh, informed guesses about population parameters based on sample data. Uh, whether you're working with uh, point estimates or confidence intervals, knowing how to estimate and importantly interpret uncertainty is key to making decisions that are data-driven and reliable. So superstars, are you ready? I estimate that yes, you are with 99% confidence. <laughs>